Hello guys, it's Abhishek and you are watching TechSet. I have started a new series on Red Hat Linux 7 Enterprise. You can also watch my other videos from my playlist to gain more knowledge because in my channel, you will get all you need in tech. In my last video, we have discussed the difference between EXT and XFS file system. In this video, we are going to discuss about Linux partitions. So without further ado, let's start. In Linux, our first partition is root partition and it is our system partition. Let me give you an example. When we install Windows operating system in any machine, then complete information of Windows gets saved inside C drive. And C drive is known as system partition of Windows operating system. Likewise, when we install Linux operating system in any machine, then complete information of Linux gets saved inside system partition of Linux that is known as root partition of Linux. Our second partition is boot partition. Boot partition always be mounted with boot directory inside boot partition. That means in root partition we have a directory named boot. So boot partition always be mounted boot directory inside root partition. And boot partition stores booting files of Linux. So now let me tell you what is a booting file of Linux. In RHEL5 that means Red Hat 5. We use Lilo and Grub as a booting file of Linux and Lilo stands for Linux Loader and Grub stands for Grant Unified Bootloader. RHEL6 uses Grub and RHEL7 uses Grub2 as a booting file. And our third partition is Swap Partition which is especially used for virtual memory. Let me make you understand with an example that what is virtual memory. In our windows when RAM gets full and we need more RAM to process, run Photoshop or any other program or any application, then our system borrows some memory from hard disk for a temporary basis so that it can run those applications or open any file. In Windows, it is known as virtual memory and in Linux, it is known as swap partition. And swap partition should be double of RAM as it is recommended by RHEL. But you can increase or decrease the partition according to your requirement. So this was a part of Linux partition and we have discussed root, boot and swap partition. Now question time. What is the booting file of Red Hat 7? And your options are option A, grub, option B, lilo, option C, grub2. You can type your answers in the next 10 seconds below the comment section. So that's all from my side. If you like my videos then hit like, make comments, share my videos on WhatsApp and Facebook so that we can spread the knowledge. And don't forget to subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon for latest updates. Thank you.